And with that, I welcome you to the uh, third episode of the second season. Um, yeah, it seems like England is already reunited. The King Fabel of Scotland is right now a tributary state to the King Alfgar II, who is even. Um, the relationship might break the party become a different realm. Yeah, this is actually a realm which will be yeah, passed by. They will stay as the tributary state to England. Mm, yeah, and, and of course we have a new emperor, Emperor Halbrecht the first, who's already in hiding. He's not even in office for yeah, some days, some months, and he already is being hidden away. Ah, oh, this is of course not a great look for a leader of this realm. Um, but on the other hand, all looks good in our realm. It seems like everything goes alright. Of course, our wife is still not pregnant, even though she loves us, even when we are a very incapable guy. And the lords have approved the institution, the medium demand centralization law. We are now me in medium demands. Okay. Finally, fate upon smiles upon me. My wife Freduruna is pregnant. My lord. That that one took a while. I mean, she also herself took the family focus and is now pregnant with a grey eminence trait. I don't even get. Uh, do we have any sort of trait? Which ah yeah, we have one trait. Stress this makes us minus ten, give us minus ten percent fertility. No. Oh. And my sister has now three children. Hmm. Yeah, we hopefully get an heir to our throne with this pregnancy. Aldo of Kinaka, Peasant Revolt, has declared Peasant Revolt for Kinaka. Erzkommandant Pierre has voted against me on the men's literalization law. Mm -hmm. um, and we ourselves need to wait. We need to wait until we can repay the small loan. And other than that, yeah, we need to maybe expand a bit. I mean, the Duchy of Wittenberg looks approachable, reasonably weak. I want to expand now. I mean, we have our pregnant wife. Or rather, let's wait. Ooh, and now there is a split. Ooh, now there is a split between the Saxon dukedoms. We have now Count uh, Duke Bernhard of Angria and Duke Wichimann of Westphalia, meaning there is now a split between those two. This is of course good because this means the Belungen dynasty will be will be well broken apart and not that strong anymore. This can even help us. I mean, now Angria is a very big enemy of us because they want to have Stade, but we st no, we don't even have our our alliance. Okay, well, so we have to take a look at them. As at least keep them in our heads so that we don't just forget about them. Oh boy. Yeah, Markgrave Bernhard II, he has not a simple life. He has to worry about a lot of things. Mm. Yeah, and now I will just wait until I can pay off my debt. Of course, we have to pay interest again, but it is not that bad. Oh, and we have a new heir, and he has no negative traits, finally. His name is Lothar Udo. Mm. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. He was a very influential character of our realm. He only had one major defeat. And we, of course, res On the other hand, I nearly forgot that we don't respect our father. We hate our father to the guts. So why should we name him after, the, after him? Hmm. Who would he name his child after? This is an interesting question, actually. We don't really have any friends. Huh. This is a good question. Who would he name his child after? Probably Heinrich, to be, to be quite fair. I mean, not Heinrich as Heinrich IV, but Heinrich the Fearless. He was still a major figure in our modern history or recent history so yeah he's going to get the name Heinrich because of the great Emperor Heinrich the third the fearless who led this country to greatness and we now have finally a son 
and we have to protect him. He can't die. But other than that, we of course want to expand, uh, expand our realm and win a war. We want to conquer Wittenberg to expand the um, expand the Nordmark. As it is tradition, my wife Frederuna underwent her churching after recovering and cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. Unfortunately, her mood was not improved by taking the Holy Commune. Perhaps something, some old sin is still waging on her soul. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Oh. oh my god. Okay, there is now another pandemic in our realm. It is the smallpox epidemic. Ooh. And we need a new commander. Let's take Erik for now. Until the other guy. The good Hermann has died off. Oh my god, he's a genius. I never really looked at him. Okay, he's no longer in seclusion. Uh, but the, the pandemic is approaching our main capital. And it's now even reached the other half of our realm. Uh, one second. I need to do something. Okay, I'm back. I was just called to dinner. Um, Where were we? Uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, the plague, the plague, the plague. Yeah, smallpox is waving to us. And now the next one wants to be my spy master. Antman Erik of Burg. He now proclaims that he's a way better spy master than my current one. The good old Mix Mishovoish. Huh, I mean you like me more, you are tall and have a perspective, rooted. You know what? You can be my spy master now. You are way better in it. A holy man came to the court today to talk about matters of faith, but it soon became clear that he rather he had rather unorthodox views. Being a zealous defender of the church at all times, believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison the blasphemous pagan who dared criticizing my faith and my church. Deus vult, and Witikind is now reacting to that. I was still shaken with rage at the pagan's blasphemous words when Wittikin took the opportunity to whisper good work in my ear. Thank you, I really needed that. Yeah, and we are a very imbecile king, but even with our little disability of very low IQ, we are a tremendous leader. Like, we can lead this country, country truly to greatness. And we are truly in love with our wife, who is, of course, the only one who can uphold this dynasty with Heinrich Bernhard Sunu. Oh boy. Um, what does she have? Abandoned the commoners. Oh, yeah, she go did go into seclusion. And oh my god, we have to go into seclusion so, uh, right away. I cannot, I cannot at all risk that my little son gets the plague. Because then the entire dynasty is lost. Like... The faith of the dynasty just lies on this small child. Aldo accepted Emperor Albrecht of Holy Roman Empire's peace offer. Yeah, the entire faith lies on you, my little one. Who's already a incredible martial guy. Wow. Yeah, in just two more months or so. Two, five more months. And we can pay off the last debt. To Margrave Bernhard II of Nordmar, I wish to invite you to attend a military drill that I will be holding shortly. This is Mauro Castelli, a guy of the Castelli family, the not the heir, well, the son of Count Pietro of Vicio, south of Italy. Well, why not? I can always use some training. And my sister, Regin Lindlota Udo's daughter, the nun, not self-proclaimed, is now my friend. It's a, this is very interesting because we two, of course, get along very well because of our own um, very low IQ. And we learn again, plus two Marshall. We are an incredible leader. I try to get a good night's sleep, but I am tormented by the horrible recurring nightmares of our people. The pleas for help and the hurtful words to try will begin to get to me. Oh boy. We have to open the gates and help them. We are charitable, it makes a lot of sense. And brave and gregarious, and we did only the decision to do secure my son. I mean, the plague is at its... not at its height. It still will go on for a while. 
even though this started now for before two years so it could be that it will go away but yeah we have to open the gates and help them i cannot just let it let my people be overrun by this sickness all right yeah well 10 marshal as an imbecile it is crazy how much he grew Oh no, and he has it. Oh, he caught the plague. He caught it, of course. Oh my lord, this is bad. Can I call my corp physician for at once? He has to come right now. And now we also caught it. Oh no, this could be the last thing we did. Oh my god, a decent symptom treatment. Oh god, and now we get headaches. Wet grass and told you to sleep in nature's embrace. Okay, that helped. Gladly. Oh my god, we cannot. And now we have also smallpox. We, you need to do something against that. Uh, I actually feel better. Bishop Jasper brought you a concoction, concoction method of buckthorn and cena. At first you thought the portion is in, ineffectual, but later the same day you felt surging into your bowels, which sent you running for the privy. As you halt in anguish, Jasper assured you that the foulness was expelled with your feces. I actually feel better. Okay. We just completely, well, used our toilets. Or at least the quiet place. We can now do something in technology. Um, oh, legalism. Of course, legalism 3. Very important. And let's get the skirmish techniques. Now, this means... Mm, yeah, we can switch to late administration, which can give us the primogeniture, right? Crown Lord title has at least high crown authority. Okay, yeah, I get it. That will not happen. That will not happen in a short while. Okay, we can then, okay. Mm -hmm. A new Emperor of the Romans has been crowned, so the last one died just recently. Yeah, Manuel now reigned for a long while, for 34 years. Okay, let's pay back our deeds. And we, we got over the sickness, but does my son. And now my friend also got the sickness. Oh, God. We get it again? Oh, come on. We just we just got it. <laughs> now we cough again. Abominable pain. We get another sickness. Oh, God. And the spionage meister has now died. And we get fatigue. Oh, ye Jesus. Uh, milk and poppies. Oh god, my son got over this over the sickness. Whew, okay, so we don't have to die that early. Seek treatment for my illness. Yeah, the fatigue doesn't help us. Yeah, and he still cannot help us. Really, embezzle from Margrave. I don't like that. And we just get a flu. Okay, we can overlive a flu. And we'll end this. Yeah, just going to not click the first one. Uh, Bishop, um, Bishop Jasper entered your chambers with the earthenware jar crawled in his arms and came to sit by your bed. He pulled a leech from the jar and gave it to the most tender look before carefully placing it on your face. Remain still, my lord. Better not disturb the feeding. I probably shouldn't have agreed on this. Oh, that means we have minus four health. Not good. Not good. I mean, we got plus one health by the family focus, so we will probably live through this. The sacking of Canterbury. Canterbury, the great pilgrimage site for all of the British Isles, has been destroyed. The tomb of St. Thomas Becket, discredited by the Waldesians. Even as the heretics rejoice in their victory, so are Catholics elsewhere distraught as the loss of the holy relics now cast aside as worthless. This is honestly a sacrilege. Oh my god. The Waldesian faith just destroying our holy site. The lords have improved the religious head invit invitation law. I think this makes the Pope decide who is the... Um, no. 
I can now decide who is my pointing successor. No, cannot. Horse, st uh, horse, strange today while riding. <laughs> my horse is, was strange today while I ri uh, while riding. Head missing and only moved backwards. Rode this way into state where the stable boy said. I think this is a very weird translation. Um, yeah, let's just let it run because still I don't have any sort of character traits that decide for me. Riding my way better. Now I got the proud trait. Yeah, I think this is from some mod and it, it just had a very poor translation. Hmm. Well, well. County of Tolna. Aha. Uh -huh. Can we cannot claim Tolna? Hmm. Um, seek treatment for my illness. Okay, yeah, well, the illness is already gone. We overlived it. And Amtsman Iri can now do that. We can now appoint new commanders. Hermann, of course, must be one. Wentichi, the I don't even know him. Is he new? He is new. Vincetti of the Wendish part of Wittstock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, he re makes out a reinforced hill fort. Great. And my wife is pregnant once more. Even better. We even maybe get a second son, which would just secure the dynasty. During the transfer of power, Bernhard lost the Skull Trophy. I never knew that I had one. The only thing I knew we have is the book we still have. But I cannot use it, right? I can use it. Oh, this is why I have plus four learning. Interesting. Yeah, the one book that was passed by by Tadeusz. I think even his dynasty is right now on the brink of dying out. The Lunkini. Yeah, Hannah is the last one, 30, not married. Hmm. And the Ludwig is now... I don't know, from some other family. Um, I mean, you are at my court and you want to marry someone. You know what, I'm just going to marry you off to some Slavic guy. Yeah, Bogislav. Have fun with him. And will he accept? Will he accept? Yes. Thank you. So I don't have to think about you anymore. Father, father, calls Heinrich, pulling my arm, pleading to play with him and his latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm middle, um, in the middle of. Sometimes this kid can be really be insufferable. Yeah. Now, I am not... You know what? I am not cruel. I'm a very charitable and proud character. Gregoria is also... So we will say, all right, Heinrich, what is it? And we get the kind trait. Okay, this of course means we cannot be a pure asshole. And we are in love with our wife. Actually, I was a bit disappointed at the f at the start when he were, was, well, our future heir. But now, now he is a very true and honest character. Who just live his, lived, lives his li lived his life as in small imbecile but still capable ruler. It all happened so quickly. I barely worked just at the event. A noble had been attacked and was dragged away from us by the kidnappers. I'll save you. Antman was subject of an attempt kidnapping today and he is clearly shocked by the experience. He will learn something from it. The offenders will be dealt with according to the law. Uh, well, I would say I wouldn't take the first option because we are um, ambitious and we're not going to waste this trade. But the last three, I cannot really decide on them. So let's just roll the dice on Q3. Mm, now this is three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we take that one. And we gain the trade crew. And I, no, I cannot gain the trade cruel. That makes no sense. We are kind. No, we are not. No, we are not cruel. Yeah, let's, let's roll the dice once more. I can, I, I, I'm not cruel. One, two, three. Again, three. Okay, so one, two, three. The offenders will be will be dealt with according to law. And it is a good tradition to skip some cosplay around. Of course, we're going to send off some maidens for her majesty, the countess or the margravian Freduna of Normark. Freduna. Okay, um, how does my claim look? 
He has 14% chance. Yeah, could you please now, well, impregnate your woman, my dear Bainey? Yeah, we're right now a French Empire, which is quite weird. But yeah, I love that. I love that so much that we get these. I mean, we have two little German bubbles, but they don't care. I love that that this empire is so so, so divine and so divided, and that the cultures are so um, different. All right, a daughter was born to Margrave Bernhard II and Margrave Friduna, named Glismond. I would not call her Glismond. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Captain Bertrand has murdered my sister? My friend? Yeah, of course we're going to honor her and call her Regen. But why would he do such a thing? Why would he kill my sister? Wait one second. Regen Lind. This is a very weird thing to do. Captain Bertrand of the Swiss company. Well, but with these bad news, I will now call this episode and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.